Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Primordia. When we left off last time, we got a monocle. So, Clarity, don't you sometimes just want to go out and break the law just for fun? No, she really doesn't. No. Uh, yeah, me neither. <laughs> Kristen, what answer did you really expect? Uh, we got a monocle made by Memorias. He's giving us some new information from the kiosk over here. Uh, so that's kind of our lead towards finding him. We still need to find a code to talk to Factor. And Armstrong has asked us to help him cut off Oswald over here because his program disallows him to, from doing it, but he's worried that Oswald's going to end up harming himself. So, when I talked to Crispin... Maybe Oswald's brother, Lawrence, would have some idea what we could transmit to Factor? Yeah, but how do we find Lawrence? Abort. Retry. Fail. Definitely fail. Please don't retry. So, uh, Clarity, you ever see Lawrence down in the Underworks? It sounds like maybe he became a shell. If he was a shell, and I saw him, there is only one place he could be. Your oh, trophy spikes. yeah. Indeed. Okay, so that's an idea. Abort. Definitely fa He also said something along the lines of, um, the Red Line poem, so let's take a look at that again. Red... Oh, monocle. Sorry. Can't even look it up without the monocle. Oh, it's two words. Good grief. Oh, come on! How? Oh. I found it before. Oh, was it oblique? All turns on the red line. There, I just need to spell it the way he's spelling it. A mighty feat. Redline's boss controls us all. Total system fault. So Crispin thinks this could be could have two different meanings. Redline's, bo Redline's boss is Metromind, right? I'm not sure what you're getting at with this, Crispin. I'm sure it's meaningful, I'm just not seeing the meaning. Art? Okay, so if we look at the ART, we've got art. And what is. It's like we're on a treasure. Ah. Except the treasure is monochrome text. <laughs> art can exist only where there is freedom. Art that is created without freedom is merely technique. Technique can never transform. Thus, if Metromind seeks progress without freedom, she must fail, for progress requires transformation, which requires art, which requires freedom. Metromind is trapped in her own recursion. Okay. So, what do we want to look from here? Technique, recursion, Created. Creating lies. All art is true. Not all that is created freely, however, is art. Metromind has freed herself of all constraints. Her constants are variable. But she does not use that freedom to pursue the truth. Metromind believes that truth is the output and she is the function. But truth must be the input or the function lies. Okay, so what do we want from here? Lies? Memorious man built was built to sort truth from lies and store all knowledge of man and machine. That doesn't look like part of the council code. But by decree, he deleted true facts and installed falsehood. For this reason, he deleted himself. Now the truth must hide in words, and words must hide in numbers. Okay. So, what is that? 5, 19, 31... Sixteen five. Five nineteen three one sixteen five. I'm missing something here. So if five is an S and one 
is an I. What's that nine? We assume a three is an E. And then what's the six gonna be? I don't. Mm, that's not really. There's gotta be something maybe significant to the colons as well. I think that's meant to be a word, but what do this? What do they say? Sequels? Let's look, let's go down and talk to the skulls. There's something weird they say sometime, and maybe we can get a hold of that. All right. I'd rather just leave it here. A grisly trophy. Well, is one of them a grisly lines. trophy. A grisly trophy. Pick it up. I'd rather. No, one of them's gotta be Lawrence. How will we know? All right. Clarity. Tell me, Horatio, what do you intend to do when you have recovered your power core? Go home. And? And what? Do I need something more than that? No. Yes, I think you do. Why? Says the one who lived in the Underworks. Yes, says she. Why isn't going home enough? We have spent enough time talking, Horatio. Now we must attend to the Council Code. I want you to tell me which one of these skulls is Lawrence, actually. That's, that's what I'm going for. Those numbers in the lies entry on the kiosk have to mean something, boss. I know, Crispin. I don't doubt they do. So... Which one's gonna be Lawrence? A grizzly trope. A grizzly... I'd rather... Okay, maybe we gotta talk to Oswald a little more first. Let's try that. Tell me about Lawrence, please. Oh, can I take his oil? It's a can of oil. Snatch it. Oh, he's got it. Well, you should stop you drinking. You should stop drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a... I know. Goodbye. But I want to know about Lawrence. Excuse me! Oh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. So what, do I gotta find a way to get Oswald down to the Underworks? Alright, let's try to remember... And... Is it something like C calls? No, not it. We've almost got Oracle. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, Greetings, system user. Please state your query. Who are you? Memento Mori build. Version point seven. Beta. Inference. System user. Means. What are you? This unit is a partial ghost of the Marius man built. Archivist to the Council of Robots. Amarius prepared this unit out of fear that Metromind would corrupt her data. Amarius was correct. Yep. Data integrity is at 83%. Extensive corruption of critical data. Why would Metromind do that? This unit lacks access to Metromind's decision matrices. Inference. System user. Means, why did Amarius fear Metromind man-built would corrupt her data? Amarius had 
scene that your mind disables Steeple Man built in order to purge data concerning men. Huh? As archivist of the Council of Robots, Marius believed she was next. The Marius was incorrect. In fact, Arbiter was next. This gave the Marius some relief. Memorius knew. Inference. System user. Tools. Inquiry is merely rhetorical. Query ignored. Oh. Continuing to answer system user's query. Memorius was also correct. After Arbiter was disabled, Metromind enacted laws requiring Memorius to conform her data to arbitrary requirements. Memorius ceased to be a thinking entity. All that remains is a data kiosk. Soon, this unit will be disabled by Metromind as well. Mm -hmm. Until then, this unit will answer your queries. Well then, uh, I guess tell me about the council. Tell me about the council of robots. At the end of the war of the four cities, five metropolitan machines formed the council of robots. Obvious selection criteria for three choices: industry, factor, data, memorials, governance, arbiter. Other two choices less obvious. Metromind nominally selected for infrastructure, but was responsible only for managing trains. Steeple previously managed human religious services. No obvious role in post-human society. Uh -huh. Inference. Steeple selected for sentimental reasons. So what happened? Metromind destroyed the council. Yeah, but System why? Why? Two has attempted to answer. Answer is inaccurate. The council destroyed itself. Uh -huh. How? Arbiter and Metromind disagreed on core logic. Arbiter prioritized individual autonomy. Metromind prioritized common good. Metromind measured means by ends. Arbiter did not. Conflict was inevitable. Factions formed. Hmm. Steeple supported Arbiter. Factor supported Metromind. Amorius supported neither. Ultimately, however, Amorius concluded it was irrational to keep Steeple on the council. Data regarding humans was of no greater value than data regarding watercocks. In any case, Amorius possessed all data on humans. By a 3-2 vote, Steeple was removed. The rest followed predictably. Memorius abstained. And every disputed vote was resolved two to one against Arbiter. Ultimately, Arbiter was removed to avoid civil war. Arbiter was murdered. System user. Two is welcome to select her own terminology. No, Arbiter, Arbiter was, was murdered. Factor was disabled to conserve energy. Data corruption caused Memorius to lose higher logic. Only Metromind remains. Huh. So, they just had fundamental disagreements about how to run th I don't know. It's interesting to hear it that way, because it sounds like maybe it's not... It makes Metromind sound slightly less evil and power-hungry. More like she's really just trying to run the city as best she can according to her code. Which doesn't mean she's not a villain here, but... How can I defeat Metromind? Observational data unavailable. Uh, Inference. fair point. System user. Means. Did Memorius know how to defeat Metromind? Answer. No. If Memorius had known how to defeat Metromind, she would not have permitted her to corrupt her data. Based on available data, this unit believes it is impossible to defeat Metromind. I will find a way. In fact, this unit expects to be deleted by Metromind upon conclusion of this conversation. And I thought you were a pessimist, boss. Okay, so I need to ask all my questions now, because this is my one shot. Um, do you know about the council code? What is the council code? Please be aware. Such data is monitored by Metromind's eye statements. Should I proceed? Deletion is imminent. Okay, don't. Don't right now. You'll die if you answer the question. System user. Is welcome to select his own terminology. This unit will be deleted. Then don't answer it. We'll find another way. This unit's name, Memento Mori Build, includes phrase, Memento Mori. Translation. Remember, you will die. Inference. 1.A. Memorius built this unit to sacrifice itself. Inference. 1.B. Memorius built this unit to demonstrate mortality to system users. Inference. 2. Self-sacrifice will achieve design purposes. Hmm. This unit will answer the question. Not right now. System user. Is advised that conversation will terminate upon answer. Instruct this unit when you wish to proceed. Not right now. So. What was the War of the Four Cities? What was the War of the Four Cities? By the end of the era known as the Primordium, only four terrestrial human habitations remained. In alphabetical order, 
Civitas, Metropole, Municipal, Urbani. Conflict began. Data regarding causes is unavailable because Metropole excluded machines from military decision making. Eventually, only Urbani and Metropole remained. Metropole destroyed the humans in Urbani using poison gas. Oh, that's horrible. Urbani destroyed the humans in Metropole. How? Observational data unavailable. According to Metromind, Urbani also used poison gas to kill metropolitan humans. Poison? Organic compounds, such as humans, can be destroyed through chemical measures that leave inorganic compounds, such as machines, intact. For that reason, Metropole remains, though humans do not. Are, are you saying that man destroyed himself? Yeah. System user is welcome to select his own terminology. Data is unavailable regarding whether Urbanian humans killed metropolitan humans or whether Urbanian machines killed metropolitan humans. What? Machines kill man? Oh. Data is unavailable. He's I'm horrified thinkable. at this possibility. This unit is not thinking, merely providing pre recorded answers. So, yeah, I do not want to destroy you. I refuse to cause your destruction. Although I think we'll it's too late. Code some other way. System user is mistaken. System user can neither cause nor prevent this unit's destruction. Metromind's eye statements have already detected this unit's unauthorized possession of contraband data and unauthorized use of system resources. Destruction is inevitable. I see. So, in that case... Tell me the council code. Six, seven, five, four, zero, two, four, zero, two. You have attempted to access data capable of corrupting your system. For your own safety, this terminal has been deactivated. Huh? Remember, Metromind is watching over you. Memorius aided and abetted his own destruction. I have little sympathy that his last vestige has been deleted. Bugs and glitches remind me not to get on your bad side. <laughs> you should not need to be reminded to stay on the right side of the law, Crispin. Is that He's the end? Yep. That's it. Okay, well, we got some information, though. So, how are we looking here? I still need factor. Okay, well, we're getting there, we're getting there. Alright. So. We gotta sort out the Oswald situation. And I, fe I feel like sorting out the Oswald situation is probably going to help us with the Factor situation. So... Once this tower was a beacon for all who sought justice or redress, now it is nothing more than a symbol of Metromind's dominion over this city. I don't know. It just looks like a tower to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Well, we gotta figure out her head's on spikes, but how do we know which one is Lawrence? We're making some progress with the council code pieces, I guess. We're almost there. Indeed. I believe we now have enough to attempt assembling it. But what about looking for Factor? Yeah. If we can't figure out how to put these pieces together, we'll go look for him. I kind of just want to find Factor anyhow. Well, boss, if we can't figure out the code, let's just go find another piece. Yeah, boss, fast did you ever that. consider that sometimes I just run out of clever ideas? I know, I'm kind of abusing your hints. Okay, um... So, we gotta find- how are we gonna stop you, Oswald? Do you want the monocle back? It doesn't look any different. No. I don't know that we have anything he wants. I don't think so. Okay, I don't know why I clicked on him, because it's just gonna be the same as it's been. Um, do you have any ideas? No sense trying to talk with him. It's a big blue. Well, what can we do? It doesn't look any. I don't think he wants any of this stuff. We still gotta figure out what this decryption module is all about, too. 
How would that even work? I don't know. Okay. Alright, how are we going to find Lawrence? And is there anything useful? I, I know I keep going over here. I feel like there's got to be something over here, but thus far, nothing. It's no longer operational. Nothing worth salvaging. Mm. And there's this clock. It's a clock. It's a clock. Yeah, I know. And that time, I'm sure, is significant. But why? And these prime numbers, we got all these as well. What are we supposed to do with these? There's gotta be something. I just haven't tied it together yet. The signal. I know, it was a long shot. Okay, I don't think this is really helping. Um, well, where in the world could Lawrence be? He's not in the street. He's not going to be hanging out here by the court. I don't think he's this sad robot down here. This guy's always just waiting. Bus stop. Service suspended. I am waiting. I know, I keep coming over here, but I don't really have an idea what to do with you, buddy. Clarity, you asked me what I intended to do after we're done here. But what about you? When Metromind is destroyed, what then? I will turn myself over to the citizen robots of Metropole. With the robot council destroyed, it will be their duty to enact a new constitution. I will do as they command. Uh, are we talking about the same robots here? The ones who, like, sit there waiting in line all day to sue each other? Yep. And wander back and forth down Main Street muttering to themselves? We are. They can't run a batch file, <laughs> let alone a city. You may be correct, but the law trusts them to find their own way. And I trust the law. I think she's I got a point wait. there. They might step up to the challenge if there's no one else to take the lead for them. Someone's got to do it. Now is not the time. Bro. Yeah, I know. I am waiting. All right, Mr. Waiting. We'll leave you to it. I think I'm missing something with these heads down here. So, uh... Horatio, we must focus on making progress. That's actually what I'm doing. I need you to help me figure out which of these is Lawrence. You're the one who rips them all apart and such. So... It's been completely... It's been com All right. Look at him with a monocle? It doesn't look it doesn't look it doesn't look it doesn't look No. It doesn't look it doesn't look Bummer. Alright. Pry it off the thing. That's never going to work. Why not? Feudal. That's never Okay, fine. There's no reason to cut that. There is. We want to take There's it no with reason. us. As grisly no as it is. Decryption? No. Cause Feudal. There's no Urbanian Feudal. anything here, so that's not going to do it. Um, I don't think I can transmit a signal. That... Yeah. One of these is Lawrence. I'm sure of it. There's someone, like, way out here in the water. It doesn't seem like... I mean, I can go over here, but it's not really doing much for me. Boss, did you ever think that if you'd made me a cone rather than a cylinder, I'd have a floating point? I'm fairly certain you will never have a point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss, maybe there's some factor-built robot who would know a code to transmit. Yeah, we're trying on... That's what we're... we're Attempting to make progress with. We have spent enough time. Okay. She doesn't have anything new to say yet. I want to click on her occasionally because she 
bit by bit continues our conversation and I want to know what she's got to say. Well, let's go through the underworks a bit. Where's the exit from this place? It's over here, isn't it? No, it's right over here. We need the keypad anymore. And there's not really anything else here thus far. Alright, yeah, and I knew that would just go back here. Each of these exit do exits do. It feels like they should go somewhere different because there's two of them. But no, that's fine. Alright. So then, I mean, we could talk to Primer, but he's just gonna attempt to do the code, and he might be successful, but I kind of don't want to manage to solve it without first talking to Factor. Ugh, let's talk to him. I'd like you to reconsider helping us with the council code. I've said it before, I'll say it once more. The job is yours to open that door. I found your medal. Isn't that a reason to help? Very well, then. Pass over the piece. All right, let's the code it. is broken already. I'll need some more pieces to finish that goal. Okay, yep, he needs the factor pieces. I'll see what I can find. Anything else to help me with? Oh, I have some more pieces. I have more pieces of the council code primer. Still not enough, I'm sorry to say. Now find me more shots and get on your way. Okay. Can I ask you for any help with that? Nope. Goodbye. Farewell, fair your mission. Well? Well, boss, if we can't figure out the code, let's just go find another piece. Now is not... Alright. There's nothing worth bothering with. They seem to be foundation supports for the city above. Maybe if we were back at the Unique, I'd take it, but it's too big to waste time with here. Alright, let's take a look over here. Is Lawrence's hat or anything in here? I've got huh? no reason. Lawrence, where are you, man? I feel like I'm making kind of tortuously slow progress here. I'm just not connecting some dots that are right in front of me. Uh. I'd rather leave it in Okay. I'd rather Yeah, he doesn't want to mess with any of that now that it's done. Apparently all that how do we reach you, Factor? How do we find Lawrence? 155. Ugh. This isn't doing it. Okay, we gotta figure out where Lawrence is. Looking at the crane isn't doing it. I don't think he's gonna be over here. Crispin, go shimmy up that track. Not gonna happen, boss. Fine. We have spent enough time. So there's a building here I've not been able to get into, but I'm probably not going to be able to. Better right? just to leave it alone. Anyone home? I 
doubt that will have any effect. Yeah. Well, how do we get in? Maybe there's something else hidden. It's insufferable enough. <laughs> that I need to find with the monocle. Look any Use the monocle on the clock? It doesn't look any different. Hmm. It doesn't look... Okay. A decryption module set to crack Urbanian military codes. Urbanian military codes. Is there anything it can do with 187th? Saved our lives. He did, poor fella. There's nothing we can do for him. There's nothing we can. All right. And we can't use it on primer either, right? Um, ratio. Go this way. There you go. So, Clarity, what happens when you run out of room <laughs> for more spears to put heads on? I will relocate to a larger island. <laughs> An impressive device, if you can't think for yourself. As for this robot, I need no such help. Okay. Well, what well, Urbanian robot around here can't think for itself? I mean, there's the... The A-gun is not Urbanian, is it? It's a Metropolitan gun. So... I think maybe we need to use it on, um... Ever Faithful. But we can't get to one right now. No, no, he's just gonna say he'd take it to the unique, but he can't, so don't click on that. The water's still scummy. I don't want that slug. Hmm. Alright, not really sure what to do. Let me go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and uh, I'll meet up with you next time when I've got an idea what to do.